Welcome to this Business Central launch event video about what's next in ALGO for GitHub. My name is Freddy Christensen. I'm a technical evangelist out of Microsoft Copenhagen. And I'm here to tell you about like where are we going in the near future. I usually have a few slides about this in my launch event uh, video as the last thing. And I usually have like a disclaimer saying no promises, no dates. When I looked at this like agenda, it says listen to partner feedback, uh, follow new security recommendations and other things. Saying no promises kind of sounds like that would be wrong. We definitely need to listen to partner feedback. We definitely need to follow new security recommendations. So some of these things are must-haves. Some of these things are stuff that we are definitely going to do. But I can't give you a date yet. But anyway, let's have a look at new security recommendations. And I don't have any specifics here, but um, the, the evil words of the past is why mess with stuff that works. Like growing up in the 80s, that was what we said. Like if it works, don't fix it. Today, it's a different world. Like Microsoft spends billions of dollars every year on security. And, and they impose all of these findings and security on all the teams inside of Microsoft. We, every single month, get stuff that we have to implement in our DevOps pipelines, in our DevOps system, in order to make sure that we are secure and our products are secure for our customers to use them. Now, ALGO for GitHub will benefit from all of these investments and provide a secure and reliable platform for partners to use, and that is one of the reasons why you should bet on ALGO for GitHub. One of the things we've been working on for quite some while is indirect templates and customizations. Um, there's a PR open on that, has been open for quite some time. There's a few partners that are actually testing out this as we go. What the feature is going, I, th I actually think I've talked about this feature uh, last year in the launch event video as something that is coming, but now I think we are closer to actually being able to, to deliver this. It's going to allow for indirect or potentially private templates for your repository. Now, if you're a partner and you want to, to create uh, customer-specific uh, customizations of a specific kind for a specific type of customer, you might even have a, uh, an indirect template for, for this category of customers or another template for your app source apps where you have some of your settings, some of your custom jobs, custom steps uh, built into that template so you don't have to do any modifications on the final repositories. Um, it's quite a big PR, uh, but, but it's all about the updated LGO system files that will run and, and be able to merge custom jobs and custom steps into uh, into into your uh, templates and then into your repositories. I think the final thing we need in this one is figuring out exactly how, what we do with settings because like default settings, we want to be able to, to specify those in the indirect template also. And that doesn't really work with the current PR. So there's a few few hours of work to go there, but but I expect this one to, to make it in, in probably April or May. I said no dates. Oh, I just gave a date. I expect that. Okay, we want to finalize NuGet support. So NuGet support, what's missing there? Well, two things comes to mind. Generate and publish runtime packages as NuGet. Uh, that part is something that I very frequently hear from partners. They miss a, 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 an efficient way of doing that. And the second thing we need? is more testing, more adoption, more rollout. We need all partners to publish their apps as NuGet to share with other partners. That is big on the agenda for ALGO for GitHub in the future. Another thing we're working on is running tests and page scripting tests on online environments. Um, in this release, we have released a functionality that can publish tests and test apps and stuff like that to online environments. We also want to be able to specify when publishing to a sandbox that you want to run the tests or maybe run the page scripting tests. So when publishing to a QA environment, 
where customer uh, needs to, to do the te final testing on your app, you can run all the page scripting tests as part of your CI CD, not part of the CI CD pipeline probably, but part of the publishing effort, uh, either as continuous deployment or as manual deployment. Um, and then running all the, the, the page scripting tests, making sure that all, all the recorded tests works before actually spending time on testing the functionality uh, of your, your, fee, your, your features. Move away from BC Container Helper. I've talked about this a few times as well, and we're getting closer and closer. We will be moving away from, BC, from using BC Container Helper in AL Go for GitHub. Right now, BC Container Helper is a huge pile of cool functionality that a lot of partners are using for all kinds of things. Um, what we're going to do is we are, we're not going to remove BC Container Helper from the PowerShell gallery or anything like that, but we are going to stop supporting it at some point in time. Until that date, what we're going to do is we're going to take DevOps relevant features and implement those in probably PowerShell modules that will be part of AL Go or GitHub Actions or whatever, and then AL Go will stop using Container Helper for these things. Uh, there's, there's a long way, probably two, three years before we're, we're going to get through with all of these things. Um, but we, at this time, we, we seriously uh, recommend that partners move to a managed DevOps solution. If they have, if, if partners are running right now a DevOps solution that they're managing themselves based on BC Container Helper and, and the CI CD hands on lab, uh, they will at some point in time have a lot of work to do in order to, to, to get going on a new platform. Um, today, moving to ALGO for GitHub or another managed DevOps solution might not be as big of a change as, as you think. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.